Welcome back, Nico. I hope it doesn't lag. <gasps> right! Oh, we were leaving off with Ted. What was that? Ted would kill me if he saw me on the phone, but I'm bored. The convenience store hasn't had any customers in hours, and I've been standing at the register doing nothing the whole time. Being paid to stand around and do nothing is actually harder than it looks. I smirked myself as I make my text post to roller. I might as well entertain myself somehow, and options are limited with my with just my phone on me. I thank the higher being for the roller app. By the way, somebody told me that roller is like Tumblr in this game. So go me. I run my th thumb down my phone screen, scrolling through the dashboard. Ugh. Of course my dash is slow going now. That I need something to entertain me. It's usually much more lively around this time. I'll admit, I spend more time surfing roller than working when I have shifts at the convenience store. Obviously, my phone is tucked in my pocket when Ted's, are, Ted's out and about. But when he sneaks to the back, when the Ted's away, Nicole will play. Oh, Nicole. It's so funny. It's weird, though. Could the, the convenience store gets very few customers. Like, okay, there are enough, but way less than I was expecting. It isn't Ted's demeanor that scares him off, either. He's usually a four, all four smiles and held back outburst in that case. That guy's gonna have a heart attack by the time he's 30. I wonder what's up. Like I said, location is fine, staff is fine, at least half of it is. <laughs> and this dog is pretty great. Yeah, bye. I'm one of myself as I quickly scroll past a stupid looking gif on my dashboard. But I guess it's better to see that than pictures of more adult activities. Look, I don't need to see that, and if anyone saw that on my phone. Like Darren? Oh boy. Well, it's not like anyone but Ted is here anyway. At least that's the case until I hear the glass door slide open and the electronic chime ring through the store. Blah, blah. Stand to attention and hastily drop my phone to my, to my hip. Welcome! I usually do my best to welcome the customers as they come in. Personally, I like when employees do that. However, I realize my impression did jack squat when I recognize who it is. <laughs> to get anywhere with that, I swear. Get out, you're not allowed here. I don't like you, and you're kind, and you're stupid brown. He hovers. <laughs> Jeff, an upperclassman, I know it's my biology class. We have a complicated relationship, and no, I don't mean like space book. It's complicated. More like, I think Jeff is super loopy, but circumstances prevent me from dropping him like he's hot. <laughs> Fucking hell, Nicole. I mean, I guess you could be, if you're into that kind of thing. Which we're not. Jeff's eyebrows raise when he sees me at the register, and his usual placid expression slips off in place of, very, in place of a very devious grin. <sighs> well, now, once again, the gods will see sp 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 smiling upon me. I was expecting to see you here, assistant. I thought I'd entered a cowboy territory. I fucking hate your guts. I laugh, nervous I laugh nervously, I'm sure what he meant by that. Heh <laughs> I work part-time here at the convenience store, remember? But you're saying that you're here to see Ted, right? Uh, you can call something like that. I'm actually here to give him something. Where is the Lone Ranger? Stop calling my teddy bear names! Uh, in the back, I can call for him for you. I can take care of that. Jeff places the flyer he has on the counter, then cups his hands through his mouth. Around his mouth, wow. Like the bell of a megaphone. You're such an asshole. I wonder what all of these would look like dropped on the ground. Mm -hmm. There's a crash from the back, then the sound of the door slamming open, and Ted's out in front like he was caught in a fire. His eyes grow wild as he sees Jeff standing there in the store, and he points right at him. Okay, we're in the middle of this again, and I don't like it. <laughs> god, dog, god, dog, gone, dare you, da what the fuck is a dastard? <laughs> what is, you dastard? <laughs> You're a dastard, sir. <sighs> oh, attuation, I'm impressed. You're speaking lessons. Oh, wow. 
Wow, that's that's low even for you. Bugs in my face. I'm impressed. You speak no shit. Really, what's up? Come on, you fucking ass. Oh, go away, Thai. This is not time for you. Jeff exaggerated impression of Alabama dr Alabama drawl only gets on gets Ted angrier. Add to that. Add to that that way he collapsed slowly, like he's humoring a small child, and Ted's about to burst. Which in here anyway? The sliding door. It's automatic. Just saying. Myself. Well, I didn't think it was allowed in here. Your father seems to like me. Of course. Go away, fly. Pops likes everyone. That's how he is. But I ain't my pa, so if you if you don't want your ass kicked, get out of here before I meet you make a mess and stuff. <laughs> you know, with those flyers. Oh, I killed it! Cool. No, I didn't. Never mind. You're kicking me out. And after I went through all the trouble coming here to tell you something, how rude. I flinch as Jeff turns to me and motions to the flyer on the left. The, on the counter. Assistant, could you hand that coat? That to the cowboy over there. Get out! I hate flies so much. Why me? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you! Please go away! Nicole's standing me already. Okay, I pick up the flyer and turn it over as I walk to the other side of the counter. My eyes light up as I read what it says. Neat, there's gonna be a block party happening soon. Sleep! I hand the flyer over to Ted who manages to read the thing while keeping an eye on Jeff the entire time. Impressive. Never seen a block party before, are they fun? For the lesser minded, I suppose as the flyer says, there are booths set up free to anyone on the block, hence the name. Even you could set up a booth if you wanted, Nicole. I really, really don't like you. I don't care what you look like, I don't, I don't like you. When you came all the way here, just give me this. Naturally, I missed you, Teddy boy. Hey, hey, hey! Only I can call him Teddy. Fly, I'm gonna kick your butt. You giant fly splutter. Feels like we haven't talked in so long. <laughs> Don't call me that. Oh, is that your embarrassing, like your embarrassed nickname? Fine, cowboy. Then you can can't see I've missed me. Oh, nobody has missed you, really. Ted scoffs and places a flyer back on the counter. Miss you. Think the way you mosey on here and make a mess any chance you get? Or ask for a price check on tons of items and never buy them? Of course I wouldn't miss you. I wouldn't miss that stupid flat hair of yours. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with flat hair, it's lovely, but when it's on Jeff, it's just bleh. Sometimes I wonder if I really do want to know the history between these two. Maybe we should just stay out of it, Nicole. Let's go back on our phone. Unfortunately, I'm way too scared to ask. I can only dart my eyes back and forth from Ted to Jeff, and then to the door, just in case I need to make a quick escape. Jeff smiles coolly and makes a show of leading him back as if stricken with vapors. That's so cruel! It's almost as though you don't like me at all. Well, I wonder. I... Because I don't like you! No! Keep over! The other side! Ted shouts at Jeff's and manages to let a small, fake cry of distress before running behind me. Fucking ass. I gasp as he places my his hands on my shoulders and pushes me forward. I'm not your shield! Assistant, can't you see how mean he is to me? Do you really want to work for someone like that? Yeah. Hey, hands off her. She may be your fake assistant, but she's my real employee. That's right. Is this how it feels to be fought over? I gotta say, I kinda like it, but these guys are going to kill each other if I don't do something. Now now, boys! Let's try to behave like adults, shall we? I look over to my, uh, I look over my shoulder at Jeff, hanging behind me, eyelids lowered. That's right, you pout! Especially you, Jeff! And a cold night, you too! I sigh a little as Jeff continues to play the victim. I got a bird. I got a bird for you. No, you don't mean that, Jeff. Seriously. You can stop playing around now. I hear Jeff huff. Hmm, fine. Spoil sports. Get over it. Jeff straightens up and dusts off his shirt like it got dirty in the middle of a charade. Of his charade, sorry. But yes, the block party is happening soon, and my boss is the head of the committee. He wanted to make sure all the 
businesses in the area new and considering your usual track record when it comes to those events. Jeff tips his head back smugly. I didn't think you'd know. Looked like I was right. That must be awful, awfully embarrassing for you. But Ted blushes as he points this out. It's only because I don't have time for silly things like that, like this. What? Talked over it with Pops and he agrees. Spit on myself. Only because he doesn't want to upset this little bit. Oh, you're so cute! Jeff ducks down behind me as Ted lunges for him with his arm. Okay! Assistant, make him sit! Sit, Teddy Bear. Uh, uh, maybe we shouldn't have fight the star, honey. Thank you. <laughs> pretty lame... Uh, it, it's a pretty lame way to get them to settle down, but when faced with Ted's fist in my face, it was the only thing I had. <laughs> When he sees that I show no signs of getting out of the way, Ted clicks his tongue and pops his neck from side to side. I ain't got time to uh, time to waste beating scum like you. Got your message loud and clear. Block party soon. Right, I'll be prepared when the time comes. Now get on out, will ya? Did I just skip a line? I don't know. I don't know why I expected Jeff to do anything, but there he is. Just smirk. Okay, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Just look at his face change. Happy, angry, happy, angry. <laughs> happy. Okay, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I expected Jeff to do anything, but stay where he is and just smirk. He looks around slowly, weighing his options. Actually, now that I'm here, I might as well look around, right? Who knows? Perhaps we'll end up buying something this time. The fuck out. As Jeff takes a step forward, Ted stops in front of him and stands his ground. I know it dropped you, and I'm telling you now that it ain't gonna work. Well, huh. I don't think it'd be very fair to stop me. After all, I'm a good natured playing customer. Paying. Paying customer. Who knows what could happen in your stores or to your stores already ter terrible reputation? What is wrong with me? If you kicked me out for no good reason, I have a good reason. I have one! Ted lowers his eyelids and takes a step closer to Jeff, so there's near it, so they're nearly eye to eye. He threatened me. It's a possibility. <laughs> Unfazed, Jeff walks away toward the uh, towards the aisles. Aisles, Blech. chuckling darkly to himself. I watch Ted shake in place as he tries to control his anger. Ted, please come down. And our store does have does not have a terrible reputation, <laughs> buddy. Ted takes a deep calming breath once he had his last word. I feel him wrap a hand around my forearm and drag me over to the far side of the store. Okay! Ow, ow, ow! What's your deal, bro? Rip my arm out of his iron grip and shake it a little loose and out my muscles. Sheesh, I thought he was gonna squeeze it off. I look at Ted expecting a good answer. He paused for a moment as I, as if trying to make up one. What is a dastard? Who translated this? It's a bee! <laughs> That bass is up some fishy. I can already smell it. You have to help me to call. Can't let him win this time. When? Why am I getting weird feeling that this isn't as serious as Ted's making it out to be? Does Jeff always do something like this? Ugh, he don't want to know. Whenever he's here, he does anything he can to get my goat. Drops things on accident. Opens things and start eating them before he pays. Ugh, I'm getting heated just thinking about it. Ted's hand clenched to a fist. Yeah. This just sounds like some stupid rivalry between two of them. Gosh, boys. What do you want me to do? I need you to tail him. You know all about his slimeball ways. I do. So he won't be able to fool you. I'll take over the counter. You watch him, make sure he ain't up no good. If you see him some if you see something, start ho hollering. A hollering, okay. Now catch him in the act. But do we just like security cameras for this or That all sounds like overkill to me, but then I get hit with a great idea. Oh, oh! So it's like a good cop, bad cop. <coughs> I'm start choking on my own spit. No, it's not necessary. Oh, but I wanted to be the bad cop. Bad cop sounds way more fun. Nicole! Then again, you're way better at being mean than I am, so... I am not. Look. You can be whatever cop you want. Just follow him. Who knows what he's getting up to right now. I can see Ted's getting frustrated. So I stand up straight and give him a mock officer salute. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Make sure you, you're you not too obvious-like. Yeah. 
following somebody around a convenience store. Totally not obvious. With those parting whispers, I'm off to stalk Jeff through the aisles. It's not that hard since he's just standing in the corner looking at different drinks sorted into fridges. I keep an aisle behind him and act like I'm arranging merch. Totally not suspicious. I'm just doing my job. Man, please don't look over your job. What sucks is that he doesn't even have to. Fuck. Why are you too smart for your own good? I know you're there, Nicole. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. How you doing? I freeze my hand around a package of individual cupcakes. Will you sit? Thank you. Keep it cool, Nicole. Totally not suspicious, remember? <laughs> Ted sent me to Teddy up the ass bit. I laugh awkwardly as I hold up a package. See? All messy and stuff. <clears throat> yep. Mm hmm, I see. Jeff turns from the drinks and just as for me to come closer with a curl of his finger. I don't really want to, but he's Gonna catch on if I don't. I place the package back where I found it and shuffle on over. What is it? Oh, I didn't want Ted to overhear us. I doubt he'd like to know when that. Dad, I'm onto his little scheme. What scheme? The scheme of stalking you? It's not a big deal. My face falls and Jeff quickly does his best to reassure me. Very weird behavior, considering it's Jeff. Don't worry, assistant. Even without your awkward bumbling, it was obvious. I'd have to hand it to him. It took me longer to usually than usual to realize. Oh. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. I only wanted it all for my cooperation. Jeff holds his hand out to the sides like he means no harm. I'm bored, assistant. Oh, go go jerk off or something. I don't know. Just get out. Uh okay. When I get bored, I like to remedy that any way I can. Right now, I just came up with a great idea. Great idea to entertain myself, but you're going to put a stop to me, aren't you? Um, if it's bad. Oh, to Ted. It'd be positively deplorable. Which is what makes it all the more entertaining. You're such an asshole. Of course, I would do it too. Seeing his face contort so disgustingly into that expression of rage. You just like to mess with people, don't you? You're a terrible person! I'd do the same thing, but you're a terrible person! Jeff cackles in an evil villain from an animated movie. You are so that evil villain. Many shivers from my arm. There are goosebumps, right? Okay, yeah, 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 this is getting weird now. Pull my hand away from Jeff's goo goosebumpy arm. Yep, no, I am not touching you. Boo. I thought you were more fun than that. Not like the cowboy over there. The flies back. I worry about him, you know. Don't you? He always gets so stressed and uptight all the time. He needs some time to relax and let loose once in a while. Jeff extends a hand toward me. Which is why I need your help, assistant. I only do it because I care. <laughs> <laughs> he cares. Jeff offers me a devilish smile. I highly doubt that his that's his real reason, but I'm really ner too nervous to voice that out loud. <clears throat> What do you need me to do? Oh, assistant, my sweet, simple, stupid assistant. I almost swallowed that fly, oh my god. You haven't caught on. I'm extending the olive branch to you. I wish for you to work with me. I already am a mere assistant, aren't I? I can have my fun. You look like you've done your job, and I can watch Cowboy finally unwind for a moment. Better yet, this will happen without the store's worse for wear. For the most part. That last part worries me, but weirdly enough, Jeff and I seem to agree that Ted needs to relax more. He's usually a, like a wind-up doll, rigid and tight. It'd be nice to see him finally at ease, or at least as close as possible. Ah, I can see you're agreeing with me. Fuck! I'll do it! You are agreeing with me, right? I don't blame you. It's a wonderful idea. <sighs> Jeff shakes his extended hand to get my attention. You know I keep my promise. Promises I make. It'll work out fine for everyone. I would ask you to trust me, but I'm terribly untrustworthy. I doubt I trust myself right now. Yeah. Yeah. Not the words I really want to hear. I don't know. Should I do it? Jeff has a few screws loose, but he does make a convincing argument. He did say that I wouldn't get in trouble if I went along with him. Challenge him? I'm not going to agree with him, but challenge him? I want to see, see what happens when we challenge him. 
Challenge him. Place my hand on my hips and cock them to the side. Please, I don't need to work with you and I can stop you first. <laughs> he looks so strong like, Ugh! Jeff's eyebrows raise. And it's like, for once, I'm the one unsettling him. However, he soon returns to his usual self. What? No, 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 no. Oops. 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 No. 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 Absolutely not. We're not getting any more points with him. No. Thanks, Hand. Disagree with him. Keep my hands myself and shake my head. Sorry, Jeff, but I don't know if I should do that. Jeff seems disappointed by my refusal. Pia, though, there's something admirable about being careful. It's foolish. It can't be helped. Before I can stop him, Jeff heads to the nearest arrangement of snacks and starts switching their positions with swift motions of his hand. Hey, what are you doing? I fixed those, you dick! Never said I wouldn't do it if you disagreed. Really, assistant, you should have seen this coming. Crap, he's right. Jeff would do something like this if I went against him. That jerk! He cranes his neck to shout over, shout over the top of the racket. I feel a pit of dread in my stomach. Please don't call Ted over here. I'm up to no good over here! Wow, where'd you come from, boy? Damn it, Ted sprints over and skids unsteadily into view, nearly falling down to his side. Calm down, we can fix it! He looks completely alarmed. What the heck?! His gaze switches to me. Nicole, what are you, asleep? I did a bad thing. She was too busy talking to me to call you in time. It's too bad, your poor ploy might have worked out. Okay, there was no chance of it working out. I was already in the middle of convincing her to cooperate with me, too. Oh, so now he suddenly decides to be honest. I want to shrink in place when Ted cast me a furious look. N N Nicole! Sorry, it's not like I took a up on it. Yeah, a lot of good that does now. Calm down, it can be fixed! Jeff continues to switch the products around, whistling worthy in tune as he does so. No, no, no. No, you don't. Oh my god. Oh, that messed with my eyes. Arms all stretched. Ted races for him. But Jeff ducks down, nearly breaking into splits. Oh my god, Jeff! To avoid him, he kicks off from the spot and races behind Ted to just havoc on more aisles. You have to catch me if you want to stop me! Ted curses on her breath and takes off after him. Wow, he's way more fit than I thought. He's pretty fast. Nicole off to corner him, take the other side of the aisle. Uh, okay! I, on the other hand, am not athletic enough for this. Ted beats me to the other aisle, and I stagger onto the other side, trapping Jeff in the middle. He continues to nonchalantly switch stuff around. What are you, five?! See me, Ted's n Ted nods and goes after Jeff again, super fast. The star I am, knowing better than get in the middle of them. I don't want to lose any body parts here. Ted drops low and swings his leg out to catch Jeff by his ankles. Whew. However, at the last second, Jeff jumps over it and... Weird feet acrobatics. Weird feet of acrobatics. Do these guys practice or something? The hell? Ted tries to get to his feet, but Jeff scoots past him, waving a package of red and blue popos as he retreats. Say, how much fun are these, cowboy? I ain't selling you off. Selling you dirt off the floor here. I like how he's smiling when he says that. That's nice. I'm tempted to try and break this up again, but when I notice the two of them are smiling, I want to roll my eyes. This is totally a big game to them, even if Jeff is the only one who realizes it. I guess through all their bickering, these two might actually like each other more than they think. The fuck? But that doesn't really say a lot, considering how much they hate each other. To Ted's close to getting Jeff in his grip now. His hands are nearly an inch away, and he makes one last desperate attempt to claw at Jeff's sleeve. He comes up with nothing but air as Jeff spins in place, pushing past him. Jesus, Ted, Ted, Jeff. You little... Jeff tosses the popo back to Ted, smacking it right in the face. There's the sound of crinkling plastic as the, pla as the package falls into Ted's dazed hands. You are a terrible person. <laughs> I try my best to stifle laughter at the sight. Even as far as I am, there's still a chance Ted might hear it. I changed my mind. I'm not really in the mood for sweets anymore. Oh my god. Jeff turns and starts backpedaling at the store, waving his hand as he does so. I better get back to work. See you later, assistant space cowboy. <laughs> that fucking... I just imagine that fucking smooth bastard. 
throwing the candy, then moonwalking his way out of the store. It's like, <laughs> I'm out! By the time Ted reaches the sliding door, they've already closed on Jeff. <clears throat> Running back to the pharmacy, Ted looks about ready to crush those popos between his fingers. It's a pretty little book. He's beating so super hard that I can barely talk. You okay? Hurry to his side as Ted holds out a hand to prevent me from getting too close. Oh, I want to hug you, though. I'm good, don't worry. Just a little exercise, though. Ted places his hand on the back of his hips and arches his back to take a deep breath. That was way more than a little exercise. Shut it. Said it was a little exercise. It's a little exercise. Okay, boss! Okay, fine. A little exercise. Got it? I look uneasily to the side, not sure what else I could say. So, it uh, just pretty crazy, huh? Don't ever mention his name again. Span from now on around these pots. Ted Hobson goes back to the aisle to assess the damage. Well, the topic change didn't work too well, but Ted isn't beside himself with anger anymore, so it's all good. He's the best in switch so many things around here. We can get back to normal easy. Can you help me? Sure, I'll start at this aisle. I have to take this one, then. Two of us proceed to get to work to undo the results of Jeff's little trick. It could be harder, I guess. But at least Jeff didn't do anything too drastic. Oh no! Wait! I want to see if I pick the other answer. I just want to save here, just in case. If I pick the other answer, would I have gotten points with Ted? Agree. <clears throat> I feel like I'm slowing my soul away when I take Jeff's hands. His palm is strongly warm. Strangely. Wow. To be honest, I was expecting it to be calmer. Clamier. Did I say calm? Was it clamier or calmer? I think it was clamier. Find him in. Don't be too hard on poor Ted, okay? Fucking hell! Mm, let's just see if we get any points with Ted with this. No, it's for the best. Now I'm sure he told you a way to signal him. I suggest you do that now. Before I can ask why, Jeff heads to the nearest arrangement of snacks and starts switching the positions of the merchandise with swift motion of his hand. Oh man, Ted's gonna hate that. I guess that's my cue, though. Daddy Bear. On cue, I hear a loud footsteps as Ted sprints over. He skids into view. One leg stretched out to maintain his balance. Ha! Got you, slime. Good work, Nicole. I knew we could count on you. <laughs> Even though that's just the same face used every time he's actually shocked, I just- I can just feel the sarcasm, or the fakeness in that. He points sharply at Jeff as he catches him in the act. That's it, you're out of here. Oh my, whatever should I do? Jeff turns back to wink superstitiously at me. I hope I can take that to mean he'll keep his word. Jeff continues to switch the products around, whistling weirdly in tune as he does so. You don't. Okay, this is just everything before before. So we're just gonna skip this all. This is the whole fight scene. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so I think in this one we get points with just Jeff. Shit. Wait. The two birds proceed to work and do a just little trick. It could be harder, I guess. Hey, Nicole. When I hear Ted call me from the next aisle over, I stand on my tiptoes to try to peek over the rack. Doesn't work so well. Uh-huh, something up. I pause and I hear something like footsteps shuffling, shuffling in place. Made a good choice, counting on you. I just want to say that. Yeah! But wait! And that's how you get points with Ted. And now I just wanna, I just wanna save this one. Can I get rid of this one? Nope. So we're gonna save this one, and we're gonna go back here. No. We're gonna go back here to the, uh... Actually, no, no, never mind, because... We... One was just points with Jeff, the other one was points with Jeff and Ted, and the other one was no points at all. So I get it now. No. Just, just go back. Oh no, the pause makes sense. Someone was, someone was just gathering up their nerve. Oh, is that a compliment? You did it without stuttering, too. 
Then let me take it back, right? Back to work. When he hears how close he was stuttering again, Ted goes quiet and his voice is replaced with the sound of rustling cellophane. I giggle as I plant my feet flat as... and do as Ted says. He does seem more at ease than he was before. A little more relaxed in the way, like Jeff wanted. Speaking of him, speaking of him I probably shouldn't let Ted know that it was... that we conspired together. Oops. He take back what he said and I worked hard for that. Oh well, Ted doesn't know. It hurt him. Cool biscuits! Alright. <laughs> Energy's at 69! Let's get our diligence up. With... Going home. And cleaning our room. That's, that's, that's good. Alright. Ted is catching up. Darren has the most, which is really, really weird. I don't know how I feel about that. She always feels she could do better. Is there a way I can change that? Should I, like, do more homework or something? I don't want zeal. Um, I think there's a way that I could have her do better in class if I just study and shut and shit. <laughs> Probably. Maybe that would get her morale up. I don't know. <sighs> um, how about clues? Watch people. Stock it! You can now access the online shopping at your dorm house. You can buy various gifts for each character to increase your relationship with them. Sweet. I'm actually gonna go check that out. So... Try it. I know I can't afford any, but... How to make friends! Oh. I don't know. I have to buy that. Like... Under Armour. Maybe Kurt would like that? But... <laughs> An all-purpose cleaning cloth! Okay, Ted, we got your gift! How- wait, wait, how much is that? Shit, I'm just wasting another one, but... Fifteen dollars. Okay. So let's just tidy up a room. Then I'll go get fifteen to fifteen dollars, and then I'll just, you know, I'll just give Ted that all-purpose cleaning cloth. How do I do that? Oh, I'm curious now. Mm, public park? No. Cafeteria? I need to work somewhere. I don't want to work somewhere. No, I want to work somewhere. I need work. All right. Well. Do some jogging, I guess. Since you can't do anything else, apparently. Can you go to the laboratory and get some? Nope. What the fudge, beef? Alright, I guess. Search through the old newspapers, I suppose. Can we do something now? I don't... Oh, it's a Saturday, but maybe that's why. Uh, we'll jog again. Get our diligence up. Hmm. 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 Sorry, I need to adjust my butt in the chair. Get stiff after a while. So it's Sunday, so I probably can't do anything like that. I don't want to take extra classes. Wait. Wait. No, that's just wet. Boo. Two... Hmm. Cheerleaders. The cafeteria. We can... Socialize with people. Oh, why did I even do that? That wasn't even worth it. I really need to go work somewhere. I guess our energy's too down to do anything else, so I guess we'll just go take a nap. Nap time. Sunset. Tidy up our room. Do you ever just get up from a nap and go, Hey, I need to clean my room now. What, somebody in the comments go, Hey, I do that all the time. You're not weird. Not at all. 
No, seriously, like, it'll be 2 a.m. in the morning and I'll just be like, I really want my bed over on that wall. And then I'll just end up cleaning my whole entire room. It's great. Not really, because I'm tired as fuck in the morning, but you know, whatever. It's great. Just love it. Yeah, nothing like a good night's sleep. Woo! Awesome! Let me work! 21 books! <coughs> I can't take the vibration in my voice anymore. It's slowly, it's slowly killing me. Alright, let's see. There's a dog here. It's my dog, okay. We're gonna get an all purpose uh cleaning cloth for Jeff. I wanna give it Not Jeff Ted! Damn it, all the hell. I called Ted to my dorm and give him the gift and Give a second, Ted, I got something for you! <laughs> Hopefully I didn't screw up so badly. It's like, hey, I got you the perfect gift. It is a cleaning cloth! <laughs> Who does that? I showed Ted the gift I got for him, but he arches his brow. I don't want it. <laughs> Hold on. No! I want to load. We're gonna reload. And we're just gonna skip all this. Excuse me. Okay, so. We're gonna think hard about this. What would Ted want? <laughs> what does Ted want? I don't... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll just go take a look. Okay. We haven't got that yet. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know what we did to get that, but we're not gonna we're not gonna screw up with Ted. Nothing is gonna screw up. Screw sh screw us up. Nothing. No, we gotta get our Dylan to hundred, I think, before we can shop. Do it again. She, she is really tired. You can access- okay, cool. Go, 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 go. Coolio! We're gonna take a nap first. <clears throat> take a nap. Okay. Okay, now we really have to think this over. Okay? <clears throat> what would Ted want? Uh. She <clears throat> got me. So now what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna save. We're gonna save right here, just in case. And then... Uh... Does he want fuzzy socks? Oh, the fuck? What does, what does a teddy bear want? Maybe he wants a day planner! You know, Ted, do you want a day planner? Do you, do you want... Use this. If I could use this. Oh, dang! That's my nice unicorn. How kind... Oh, that thank you kindly. I used to my duties down at the I'm <laughs> <coughs> sorry, my voice is just uh Dude. That worked so well. Like wow. I'm really proud of us. We have no money. But I'm really proud of us, how many points we got with him. Like, dude, that's a lot. We just really need money now. Oh, gosh. How do we get money? Okay, no, 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 no. We need more jobs. We need more jobs. Well, I guess we'll just get our little engines up for now. Until I can. Let's take a look, though. What else would Ted like? <laughs> Is anything one dollar? Okay, so... I think Darren would like the book light. No, no, no. He would like the USB laptop charm. <laughs> ah, hmm. Kurt would definitely like the football. Maybe... Maybe he'd like the pocket watch? 
don't know. I'll, f I'll figure it out when I get money, I guess. <laughs> like, Ted, what do you like? What is what is stuff you like? Like, I know what everybody else likes. Is, I know what Kurt and Darren like. Like, Darren likes the nerdy stuff. Kurt likes the jock stuff. But I don't know about the other boys. That's weird. How do I find out about that? That's, that's something I need to know. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. There's a dog that really wants my attention, apparently. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye! <laughs> Wish me luck.